it's Bree Simulated here. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today we're going ahead and playing the 100 Baby Challenge Part 78. Which is crazy because that means that we go ahead and need to get Missy, uh, not Missy, we need to go ahead and get Avery pregnant really, really fast. So we have two parts left with Avery, right? So we have this part right now and one more and then part 80 will be leading on up with the next matriarch, whom of which we probably haven't met yet. I'm going to go ahead and try and get her to have triplets because it's something she hasn't done yet and it's definitely a big like wish or want, like a goal of hers, you know what I mean? So, but the reason why we're going to a spa is because I want to make sure that she is going ahead and getting a fertility spa treatment thing. So basically it's like a massage you can get in The Sims 4 and it goes ahead and increases your chance of getting pregnant and of getting twins and triplets and whatnot. She does have the fertile trait at home. We have the on key line trait or whatever that means that there's a higher chance of triplets and twins already. So then once we go ahead and have our fertility thing, we're just going to be popping out babies left, right and center. Okay, we're going to go ahead and download this spa where we go ahead and uh, grab this one from Little Simsy here. It is a Serenity Resort and Spa, which is actually quite a good idea because we could go ahead and have Woo Hootie here. Fertility Massage. So we're going to go ahead and get that. Let's keep our eye out for a man so that we can go ahead and get. And we'll have to go ahead and take him on out to one of these luxurious bedrooms Little Simsy Kayla has made. So she is going ahead and getting her massage. Hopefully this will increase her chance of having triplets because I really want her to have triplets for her final pregnancy. Like it's what she would want. It is what Missy would want. It's what everybody wants. Maybe we can just go ahead and do a polite introduction with him. Maybe she's like getting with the masseuse. That would be interesting. Wait, we did the polite introduction, but it didn't um, get us up all the way. That's really weird. Okay. Let's go ahead and try and get to know this guy a little bit better and see if he would be a good representative for our final baby. I mean, oh, he's a bit of a slob. Fertility boost from fertility massage. The blood is boiling from vitality. Oh, where'd it go? From vitality and pro... Pro what? Pro... Pro creative energy. Oh my goodness. Okay, what bedroom should we woo Hootie in? Maybe this one. Oh, wait, we stopped talking to him? Did he have to leave? No, 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 no. Okay, you guys, it's actually the next day. We got another fertility massage. And we are just over here with this dude. It looks like he's getting kind of tired, so let's make sure that he is not. But we're going to go ahead and just flirt it up with him a little bit more. We just finished a lovely drink, and we're here in this beautiful island location to go ahead and have our final first kiss. She's like here at this spa resort for like a mummy vacation and she's having her final first kiss with this random guy that gave her her fertility massage. He was like, oh, are you and your husband trying for a baby? You're gonna have a, oh my God. I wanna try for a baby in all of these locations. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and try for a baby with this guy in the sauna. Then we're going to try in the waterfall and we'll finish off in the bedroom. <gasps> Somebody just went in here, Caleb. You're going to want to skedaddle, dude. You have no idea what's about to happen. They're like, uh, excuse me, please leave. Like, leave right now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They're going to go ahead and try for a baby in the sauna together. We are heading on over here to try for a baby in the waterfall. She's got her cute little bathers on. She's walking her wide hips and thick butt into that waterfall and having a baby. Hopefully, we're going to also go ahead and just uh, <laughs> and just leave this here. I was going to have them go in the little like hot things. You know, you know what? I will. It's nighttime. They're both. That is super loud. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and. Whoa! The whole shebang! I don't remember seeing the fireworks last time. But uh, we're going to go ahead and head back on over to the... <laughs> He's like cheering about it. Okay, we're going to head back on over to the resort and go to bed. This is her final pregnancy test ever, you guys. More than likely, this is the final 
pregnancy test. You guys, she is pregnant. <gasps> Avery. Oh my goodness. She's going to go ahead and tell him. I wonder what he will say. We're not grilling anything. I know you're probably starving because you're like a pregnant mama. <laughs> Oops, I'm in the bush. What does he think? He looks like mildly happy. I'm still in the bush. He looks like he's actually kind of happy. He's like, oh my goodness, that's so funny because I gave you the fertility massage and now you're pregnant. And she's like, yeah, hilarious. I feel sick. Okay, you guys, it is the next day and it's time to go ahead and age on up Harvey and Harry into children, which means that I'm going to get to go ahead and work on their school homework and their skill points and whatnot so they can go ahead and get school promotions come uh, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday kind of time. But these boys are aging up today and the next set of kids are aging up tomorrow, which is really exciting. So they're both like sets of twins will be going to school on Monday, which is super duper cool. So hopefully I can go ahead and get their their uh, skills and whatnot up before the weekend is through. That way then they can all go ahead and go to school all normally and hopefully get lots of promotions and move on out. We need to go ahead and age on up the other Sims. We need to go ahead and age on up Harvey now. Harry is off doing his homework. Good boy, Harry. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and age him on up. He was just playing with his iPad for a hot minute, so we needed to wait for that. I'm just going to go ahead and get their grades up and tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and see you guys when we age on up the next set of twins. Alrighty guys, so of course it is the next day which means it is time to go ahead and age on up the next set of twins. So uh, Avery is just going to the toilet real quick. She needs to pee pee which is fine. She's pregnant so you know we expect it. Just as a reminder she'll be in her third trimester in just a couple of hours. So let's have her head on over here and age on up little baby Vanessa, I think this is. So Vanessa's gonna be aging up into a child and then we'll go ahead and age on up her brother, her twin brother. She's gonna be a little bit of a loner. Okay, sweetie. And now we need to go ahead and add some candles real quick before anyone takes a bite of that. I am so glad to have these toddlers gone. And do you know what's crazy? Once she gives birth, we'll only have another set of toddlers, hopefully of three toddlers. And then that'll be all the toddlers for Avery. She'll be completely done, which is so exciting. So, oh my god, so many of the kids have been getting the random trait of love the outdoors. All right, my goodness, you guys, she has gone into labor. And I have wishful thinkingly set up this little nursery exactly how I would like it to go. I would like it to be two boys and one girl, and the one girl that we have will go ahead and be the next, next matriarchy-ist. It looks like we're definitely having more than one baby, as we can see here, but this is Avery's final birth. I can see it going to the hospital, but I thought, no, we'll just do it here because I really want her to have triplets, and I feel like the best place to have triplets is at home. So she's gone ahead and given birth for the final time. Let's go ahead and see what she has had. A baby boy, okay. All right, we are gonna go ahead and name this little baby boy. We're gonna go ahead and name him Noah. <gasps> a girl, okay. A girl, a girl, a girl. Um, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with Grace, which was a name left by Stephanie. Let's see if we have triplets. Please, please, please. Let's see how many total kids did Avery have. Please be triplets. No, it was just twins. <gasps> oh, that's still beautiful. But like, man, I really thought we are going to have triplets. Oh, no. No, she'd still be so happy. Okay, so Grace is going to be the next generation's heir. Oh, my goodness. Like, she's going to be the the next major arc. Which one's Grace? Is it technically this one down here? Okay, yeah, we don't care about gender stereotype colors. This little baby right here is going to be the next matriarch, the third and final matriarch. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and calculate real quick just how many total babies Avery had. Okay, so I got 41 from counting on the walls. Now let's count in the um, family tree. Yes, okay, we got 30, 41 kids, not 31, 41 children oh my goodness i cannot believe she had 41 so if you didn't know missy had 39 so i think i definitely did go ahead and improve my like baby makingness like 
I must have like to some extent just improved my efficiency of the baby making and aging up just a little bit because we obviously had two more kids. We went ahead and had 80 kids, 80 kids between Missy and Avery, which is so, so crazy. So now we just need to go ahead and have another 20 with Grace. So I think Grace is hungry. She needs feeding. She is hungry for adventure. I was really hoping we'd be able to go ahead and have triplets. Obviously, Avery just didn't have a dinner. She didn't want to have triplets. Whereas with Missy, we did have at least one, maybe two sets of triplets. I think we had a, tri a set of triplet boys and a set of triplet girls with a Missy, but I'm not quite sure. Anyway, She's going to go ahead and age on up to be an elder in just three days. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do in this part is I'll go ahead and age on up the baby so we can see what Grace looks like as a toddler. And huh, I don't know, should we age Avery up into an elder in this part or in the next part? What should I do, you guys? Okay, it's time to go ahead and age on up the babies. As you can see, Avery is having a bit of a boss bee parenting moment she's feeling so fly she's got those little stars all around her from doing some awesome parenting we've been having a very good day today you know what i'm gonna mix things up and do a random trait instead of independent which means we're gonna have to actually potty train them but it's fine because i'll be doing it in another like in my free time so it'll be fine but here they are aging on up this is the last time we'll see avery age on up a toddler like this Oh my goodness, well actually that's a lie. We're going to see her age on up Grace in just a moment. But other than this, this is like the last time this is happening. I feel like this scene has happened a million times. But oh my goodness, Grace is going to be independent. She is still independent. She's an independent girly. But here is her with Grace. Of course, she needs a bit of a makeover. But um, she is definitely such a freaking cute sim already i can't believe she is going to be the next generation who has to go ahead and have 20 kids so <laughs> oh my goodness and grace is such a perfect name for like the theme i have planned for next generation so if you didn't know next generation is going to be more of like a farm theme and we're going to go ahead and do some really cool stuff in regards to that and like have just a cool setup that works a little bit better and more efficiently. Oh, Grace is feeling kind of sad. That's okay. I'm going to go ahead and cheer her up off camera. And in the next part, we'll go ahead and age Avery on up into an elder. We'll have a hope of birthdays. Move on out those four kids, like the two sets of twins. They'll be moving out in unison. And in the next part, we'll probably age on up these toddlers into children and yeah and then in part 80 we'll be going on and starting the third matriarchy to have the last 20 of 100 children with grace until next time i hope you'll have a very snazzy day and i'll see you all soon bye guys